Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text to moving objects in Photoshop Filmora 10, one of the best software for making YouTube video, cooking video, and travel video and stuff like that. Uh, this is a user-friendly video editor. And if you want to download the software, I, I will put the link in the description below. And if you want to buy the software, I also have a 20% discount coupon code to save your money. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm on my computer screen and this is a start page of Wondershare Filmora 10. Uh, in order to create a new project, you need to select the aspect ratio for, for your video first. Uh, for YouTube, I'm going to select 16 by 9 here. And then uh, I need to click this button to create a new project. And now you need to import your footage into the media library here. Uh, to do that, you can click here to import the footage. And I'm going to use this one. Uh, this is a dance video with three character. Okay, so, so we have three moving character here. Let's open it. And here's the footage that I'm going to use. And actually, this is a free footage that I downloaded from pizzabay.com. Okay, so let's double, double click to preview it. And now we have three characters dancing on the screen. So I, I want to add text to each of each of them so the first one may be Jenny and the second one will be James and the third one will be Mary okay so that 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 would be very easy to do in Wondershare Filmora 10 okay so the first thing we want to drag and drop it onto the timeline and let's click this button to preview everything on the timeline let's play it very nice right so the first thing I want to activate the motion tracking feature in uh, Filmora 10. You know that uh, we have Filmora 9 without motion tracking and Filmora 10 we have motion tracking feature which is very useful. Uh, in order to activate the motion tracking, all you need to do is to double click at the video here and then you can find the motion tracking uh, box here. All you need to do is to check this box to activate the motion tracking. Okay, so now we are going to track the first character. Uh, here's a tracking point uh, we can click here and then move it to the the object and then we can resize the tracking box here and being mentioned that you have the the eye button here you can hide and and unhide the tracking uh, tracking point uh, right here when the tracking point is at the position you want to track then you can uh, click this button to start tracking okay so let's the software do the job Very nice, right? And now we have the tracking data with some keyframe here on, on the clips. And the next thing we want to add the title. Okay, so let's click OK to go back to the media. To add a title in Filmora 10, all we need to do is to go to here at the title tab here. And being mentioned that there are many, many title templates in the software. By the way, I'm going to use the default title. So you Click here at the recommended folder and then you can select the default title. Just drag and drop it uh, onto the timeline and put it at the top track here. Okay, and then you can uh, double click at the title box here and then change the text to what you, you want to write. So I'm going to write Jenny and I also change the form here and the size. Also, I want to make it 60. Okay, and the phones. I want to change it to be best new. Being mentioned that with Filmora 10, you have many tools here to format your text. By the way, I'm very happy with this one, so I'm go going to click OK. And the next thing, we want to stick this text to this tracking point. So we can double click at the clip on the timeline, and then we find the motion tracking feature here, and then we can click this menu and select default title. Okay, so the text uh, will stick to the, the tracking point uh, here. So let's play the video first. Very nice, right? And now I want to extend the uh, title duration to the end of the video. Uh, all I need to do is to click here at the edge of the title box and then 
extend the duration of the title to the end of the video. Okay, so we finished with the first text and now we are going to drag the second character. To do that, all we need to do is to right click at the video clip here and select copy. Okay, and then I'm going to lock the first track and the second track. Now I'm going to move my playhead to the beginning of the track and then press Ctrl V to paste it. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is to deactivate the motion tracking on this clip. Okay, so we can just deactivate, double click at the clip and then deactivate the motion tracking. Okay, and click yes. And now I want to activate the motion tracking again to track the second character. Okay, so just click the motion tracking. And now I want to adjust the tracking point to this position. And move my, move my playhead to the beginning of the clips and then click the start tracking button. Alright, so now we have the second clip with the motion tracking data. So we can do the same to add a text to the uh, to this clip. Okay, uh, then we can click OK. But uh, to save time, I, I will copy the t this title. Okay, so just unlock this one and then uh, right click, select copy. And then I'm going to lock this track and lock this track. And then I'm going to press Ctrl V to paste this title box here. And we need to clear uh, all the keyframes first. So I'm going to right click at the keyframe and clear all keyframes. Okay, so now we can unlock this track and then uh, double click at the clip and select this motion tracking menu. And then we can select default title again. So we are going to stick the text to the second motion tracking point. Okay, and then we can uh, change the, the text here. Just double click at the text and then I'm going to change it to James and going to click OK. And now we finish the second text. Very nice, right? So we are going to do the same for the third character. Okay, so I'm going to speed up this process to save your time. Okay, so all the text are on the moving object now. So the next thing we want to hide the clip above uh, to reveal all the text and we finish the effect. Okay, so all I need to do is to click this I button to hide this clip to show the, uh, the next text and we can hide this clip also to show the final text here. And uh, this is how you can add text to moving object using Watershare Fibro 10. Okay, so this is the final result. That is very easy, right? So that is how to add text to moving object using Wondershare Filmora 10. I hope you like the tutorial. If you like, just hit the like button and leave your comment below. If you're new here, consider to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.